I really cannot put into words for you just how much I despise our system, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. I mean, on the Democratic... Biden is the uh, the perfect icon of modern-day Democratic politics. He's old. He doesn't know what's going on. He's losing his mind cognitively. Even when he was with it, he was a massive status quo defender, right? He's an ultimate neoliberal where you do, like, tweaks around the edges, but don't change much. Very centrist ideology, Although you could probably say center-right because he supported every terrible decision like the Patriot Act and the Iraq War, so on and so forth. And that's the Democratic side. That's the better side. The worst side is a bunch of barbarians and savages and Civil War reenactors and people who want an Emperor Trump and uh, people who don't believe in even the tiniest semblance of democracy and people who want to roll the clock backwards with every single advancement that we've made since the New Deal era. That's who's on the right. And so having said that, now I bring you this. We have a hot mic, mic moment here. This is Wisconsin GOP Senate hopeful Eric Hobdy. And um, here's what he thinks about young people having insurance. Spoiler alert, he's against young people having health insurance. Listen to this. I was really wondering about Obamacare, and I know President Trump wants to repeal it, so you know, let's hope he, he gets to do that. But I'm really concerned, especially about that provision for that these kids can stay on until they're 26. I don't think it's doing our young people much good. I mean, it's, it just makes them lazy. It's, it's a stupid idea for yeah. this reason. All we're doing is delaying younger people's maturation. Right. And they need to grow up and move on and stand on their own two feet. And by the way, your lowest health care costs are when you're yeah. 21 to 26. Right. Frankly, what we should have is personalized health care that you buy when you're young that stays with you your whole life instead of having some business and then you leave that business and it transfers here. It should be your health care policy that travels with you through your life. Well, based on your health. Based on your health and a lot of other yeah. factors. Because yeah. my grandson, I mean, he's, he's a great guy, but... I think it's just like not getting him off the couch to, you know, he's, you know, he's still staying at home and I think it's not motivating. And I, I think it's happening to a lot of people, don't you think? I, mean, I think we have never had such a large percentage of uh, working age Americans that are sitting on the couch, couch. and not involved. And still living with their parents. And still living with their parents. Yeah. It's sad. See, this is what they actually think of you. This is what they actually think of you. And th this reminds me of the Mitt Romney 47% comment, right? 47% of the country, they're parasites, they're moochers, they're never going to get their stuff together and the productive people have to help the, you know, the weaker people. Why? They need to get their shit together and handle it themselves. You have the takers and you have the makers, right? This is what they think of you. And in this instance, they're talking about young people, 26 years old and under. Yeah, they're lazy. They can't get anything right. They have no work ethic whatsoever. If they're so late, why is it that the unemployment rate, what is it, 3%, 4%, something like that? It's at some historic low. So almost everybody is working. And by the way, some of the people who don't work, they can't work. They're disabled. They have various sorts of maladies and issues that makes it so they can't work. But people are working. And by the way, oftentimes they're working two jobs or they're working three jobs or they're what's called underemployed, which means they have a job, but for their degree, it's less than a job that they should in theory have. And so they don't make nearly enough money. You have housing costs uh, through the roof. You have people sh struggling to pay the bills. Nearly 80% of the country living paycheck to paycheck, depending on which uh, poll you believe on that, right? So in other words, people are working hard. People are trying their best. And the system gives them a massive middle finger. And your politicians are supposed to be representing you against that rapacious system. They're supposed to want to fix the system. They're supposed to want to make the system better. And instead, what do we have? Smug pricks like this asshole out there saying, yeah, 26 years old and under on your parents' plan? Fuck off. You should be kicked off that. You should be on your own. You should ha handle it yourself, you lazy fuck. This is his perspective. This is what he thinks. He thinks you're lazy. He thinks you're unworthy. By the way, why did Obamacare have that provision? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because many jobs these days don't even offer health insurance. So people go and get a job, but they don't have any health benefits. So it's nice to be able to stay on your parents' health insurance until you can potentially get into a place financially where you could afford health insurance. By the way, let's also, who are we kidding? It's not like health insurance in this country isn't a scam anyway. 
here, pay me uh, 600 bucks a month. And then when something happens to you, maybe I'll pay some percentage of it. But after you put down the first $3,000, like who has $3,000 just sitting around? I mean, what are, you, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? But this is where we are. So anyway, to get back to the original point, we, it used to be the case that Republicans were the party of the status quo. Republicans were the party of just sort of keep everything the same. And the Democrats were the party of, no, we're going to fix things. We're going to make things better. Think of FDR. Think of Lyndon B. Johnson when it came to domestic issues. War on poverty, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, etc., right? That's, that was the breakdown between the parties. Now where are we? Now we're at the position where the Democrat perspective is, just keep everything the same. Status quo, business as usual, don't change too much, keep everything the same. Maybe once in a blue moon, we'll do a little tweak to maybe make things a little better for you, right? What's the Republican position now? The Republican position is, fuck off, let's make it worse. Let's make it worse. Let's kick you off your health insurance. If you're 26 years old or under and you're on your parents' health insurance, fuck off. Get off that shit. I don't care if you don't have any health. By the way, so almost 50% of the country has medical debt. Almost 50% has medical debt. These people don't care. They want you to suffer. They want you to suffer. And if you're 26 or older, you're lazy, you're unworthy, get off that health insurance. This is on you. So look at how we've changed our politics over the years. The Democrats were the party of let's make things better and the Republicans were the status quo party. Now the Democrats are the status quo party and the Republicans are let's make things worse party. Let's make things worse. Why would anybody vote for somebody who's actively promising to make your life worse. He's not running on improving healthcare. He's not running on giving more people healthcare. He's not running on lowering your healthcare costs. He's saying, my policy would be to get rid of the, even the good parts of Obamacare. Obamacare was a minor tweak to the system that made some things better, but largely kept it the same. The for-profit health insurance companies are still in control, but these guys want to take away even the victories in Obamacare. Just like the pre-existing conditions thing. Trump, when he was president, he said, I'm in favor of keeping the pre-existing conditions. Then he proposed a bill that got rid of the protections for pre-existing conditions. This guy's the same. This guy's the same thing. Get rid of the protections for pre-existing conditions. Uh, get rid of the coverage until you're 26. You could be on your parents. What are we doing in this country, bro? What are we doing? We've become a joke. We've become a mess. The corruption has so rotted the country from inside out that now, like I said, you have a status quo protection party and you have a let's make things worse party. There's not much else to say now, is there? All right, guys, that's the show. Thank you for listening. You know the drill. Everybody uh, subscribe to the channel. That helps out massively and costs you absolutely nothing. Click that bell icon so you get a notification every single time a video drops. You can leave a comment, tell me how sexy I am sitting in here in my cutoff shirt on vacation with the beach behind me. Um, and you could support the show on Patreon. That helps massively. Remember, I never talked to an advertiser, so I'm very dependent on you guys to help this show, donating two bucks a month, five bucks a month, whatever it is. Remember, there's no Crystal Kylan friends this week because we're on vacation, but of course, we'll be back with that next week. But I want to give you guys a full ass uh, week of shows anyway. All right, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Everybody have a great rest of your day, and hey, enjoy the holiday if you can. I know things are shitty. I know things are going in the wrong direction. I know we're all miserable. I know we're all consider considering fleeing to the Bahamas or somewhere else. That's all understandable, but try to enjoy the holiday as much as you can, man. Go have some ice cream, drink a couple beers, have a barbecue, whatever you got to do. All right, peace, guys. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.